Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will explain some problems related to highest power of prime number in n factorial. In the last session, I have explained about the concept related to uh, highest power of uh, n factorial, uh, highest power of prime number in n factorial, right? Now, in this session, I will explain the problems based on uh, uh, that particular concept. Let's see the first problem. I will explain the problems uh, with big numbers. Okay. First one is find the highest power of 2. Find the highest power of 2 in 100 factorial. As I already told you previously, first and foremost point you must keep it in mind is whatever the number here given, that particular number must be a prime number. Here 2 is a prime number. So we don't have any problem. We can go with the uh, for the continuation of uh, problem, right? As we all know that highest power of prime number, highest power of prime number in n factorial, which is equal to, which is equal to sum of all the quotients, sum of all the quotients divided by power of prime number, power of prime number. Okay, here the prime number is given as 2 and the value of n is given as uh, 100. So, we need to calculate uh, in 100 factorial what is the highest power of 2. Okay, first uh, divide the given uh, number with 2 successively 50 times. After that, again divide with 2 25 times. After that, again divide with 2 12 times. Again, divide with uh, 2, 6 times, next, 3 times, next, 1 time, right? Once the division process is done, you need to add all the quotient values. You need to add all the quotient values, right? So, highest power of, highest power of 2 in 100 factorial is equal to sum of all the quotients, uh, here 50 plus 25 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 divided by power of prime number. Power of prime number. Here the power of prime number. Prime number is 2 and its power value is 1. So the denominator value is 1. Denominator value is 1. So add all the values you will get highest power of 2 in 100 factorial. Here 50 plus 25, 75, 75 plus 12, 87, 87 plus 10, 97, 97 by 1, which is nothing but 97 only. Therefore, highest power of 2 in 100 factorial, which is equal to 97. Okay. Next, second problem. Find the highest power of 3 highest power of 3 in 150 factorial. Find the highest power of 3 in 150 factorial. Now, see here, divide the given number 150 with the, the given prime number. Here, 3 is a prime number. First of all, you need to check it out. This number is prime number or not. Here, 3 is a prime number. That is the reason why you can divide directly 150 with 3, right? So, how many times? 50. And next, again, divide with 3. How many times? 16 times. 16, 3 is 48. Remainder is 2. Again, divide with 3. 5 times. Again, divide with 3. 1 time. Remainder, we don't want. We want only the quotient values. All these values are quotient values. All these values are quotient values. Now your required answer is highest power of 3 in 150 factorial which is equal to what? Sum of all the quotients. 15 plus 16 plus 5 plus 1 divided by power of prime number. What is the power of prime number? Here the power of prime number is 1. So the denominator value is 1. Now you will get the answer easily. 50 plus 16. 
66. 66, uh, 71 plus 1, 72. Okay? 72 is the right answer. 72 by 1, which is equal to 72. Therefore, highest power of 3 in 150 factorial, which is equal to how much? 72. That is the required answer. Okay? Let's see one more example. See here. Let us take now, find the highest power of uh, 5 in 300 factorial. Find the highest power of uh, 5 in 300 factorial. Here also if you observe carefully, this 5 is a prime number. No need of converting into prime factors, right? Now, after that, uh, you need to divide this 300 with this uh, prime number, right? 300 divided by the prime number is 5. How many times? 60 times. Again, divide with 5. 12 times. Again, divide with 5. 2 times, right? Here, if you observe carefully, all these values are quotient values. All these values are quotient values. Therefore, highest power of 5, highest power of 5, in 300 factorial, which is equal to sum of all the quotients, 60 plus 12 plus 2, divided by power of prime number. Here the power of prime number. Power of prime number is 1. Prime number is 5 and its power is 1. Therefore, after adding all these values, 60 plus 12, 72, 72 plus 2, 74. Therefore, Highest power of 5 in 300 factorial, which is equal to 74. Let me explain one last example in this session. See here. Find the highest power of 8. Find the highest power of 8 in 350 factorial. Find the highest power of 8 in 350 factorial. Here, if you observe carefully, the first and foremost point is, this 8 is not a prime number. This 8 is not a prime number. What we have to do is, we need to convert this 8 into prime factors, which is nothing but 2 power 3. We can write directly 8 is equal to 2 power 3. As we all know that 2 cube is equal to 8. Now, so many students here also, they will do the mistake that they will divide 350 with 8. That is not the task here. Here the thing is, you need to divide 350 with 2 only. Why? Because the reason is, here the prime number is always you need to divide with this prime number. Here you are converting the given composite number into prime numbers, right? So, the prime number which is available here is 2. So, the 350 number that should be divided by 2 only, prime number. And next, how many times it will cancel? 1, 7, 5. Again, 2, 8. And then, uh, here it is uh, 7. And next, uh, divide with uh, 2, 43. And next, divide with 2, 21. And next, uh, 10 times. And next, 5 times. And next, 2 times. And next, uh, 1 time. Once it is done, add all these values. Add all these quotient values. All these are quotient values, right? Now, according to the concept, uh, highest power of, uh, highest power of 8, in 350 factorial, which is equal to, as we all know that 8 is nothing but 2 cube. We are converted into prime factors. Highest power of 2 cube in 350 factorial. Sum of all the quotients, that is 175 plus 87 plus 43 plus 21 plus 10 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1. Okay. First, uh, 87 plus 43, that is uh, 130. This value is 130. And next, uh, 10, 15, 17, 18. 
18 plus uh, 21. 18 plus 21. Sum of all these values. 21, 31, 31, uh, 36, 36 plus 3. 39. Okay? 39. Now you can add all these values. Sum of these two, 169. Now you can add these two, which is equal to here, 175. Here, the denominator, we forgot to write the denominator value. Power of prime number. If you observe carefully, power of prime number. What is this power? 3. You need to write in the denominator as 3. So, first you can add 175 and 169. After that, divide that value with 3. Here, if you add these two, here it is units place uh, 4 and next uh, 7 plus 7. 14 again and next uh, 2 plus 1, 3. 344 divided by 3 which is equal to highest power of 8 in 350 factorial. What is that value? 1 and next 1 again and next uh, 14. 14 means uh, 3 4 sir, 12. Whatever the remainder which you are getting, leave that remainder. You need to write up to here only. Whether it is perfectly divisible or not, you need to write up to here. So, the highest power of 8 in 350 factorial, which is equal to 114. And the difference between previous examples and uh, this example is, uh, in the previous examples, uh, we have discussed about only prime numbers. Now, in this example, composite number is given. First, I have to convert this composite number into prime factors. That is nothing but 2 cube. Here the power of uh, prime number is 3. Therefore, I have to divide with uh, 3 once the summation of quotients is uh, done. Here the sum of all the quotients is uh, 344 and the power of prime number is 3. So, the answer is 114. And one more uh, important point is you always divide the given number, factorial number with the prime number only, not with the composite number. Okay? Guys, in the next sessions, we will discuss a few more examples uh, which are somewhat uh, combinations of uh, uh, one, uh, two or uh, three prime numbers like that. We will discuss uh, in the next session. I hope you enjoyed that session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.